now 656. Good morning. Let's check the roads once again with our sunrise traffic. Matt Crawford is standing by. Matt, how are the roads looking? Well, Mark and Leah, starting to see delays on the east side on 590 southbound between Empire Boulevard and Blossom Road. Heading through the city, 490 and 104 are moving well in both directions. And on the west side, no delays, but I do have a crash on Vintage Lane at 390. Crews on scene. From the Warm 101.3 Traffic Center, I'm Matt Crawford. Guys, back to you. All right, Matt, thank you. It is time now to check our Sunrise Smart Start. A Rochester man in critical condition today after an overnight shooting in the city. Police were called to Turner Street around 1115 last night. The 31 year old victim was found inside a vehicle on Chi Lai Avenue. Anyone with information is asked to please call 911. Two St. John Fisher College students have been arrested after stealing a statue of Frederick Douglass. The six foot seven inch sculpture was ripped from its base at Tracy Street and Alexander Street just after midnight Sunday morning. 20 year old John Bodeker of Endicott and 21 year old Charles Milks of Kenmore have been charged with criminal mischief. A witness says he heard the suspects using racial slurs. Bodeker tells us this was a drunken prank. A woman accused of stabbing her seven-year-old son to death is scheduled to appear in court today. Hanane Mohib is accused of killing Abraham Cardenas in their home in Sweden. That was back in April. In the weeks leading up to the murder, deputies had responded to her house twice. Both times were told she had been taken for mental health treatment and released. She has so far been deemed incompetent to participate in her defense. She's due in court at 9.30 this morning for a pretrial hearing. And we are expecting an update today on that Fatal weekend crash from Penfield. Police called to the scene around 4.30 Saturday afternoon on Empire Boulevard. Investigators say a Toyota Camry turned left into oncoming traffic at the parking lot of the Mario's restaurant there and was struck by another vehicle. The Camry's passenger, a 95-year-old woman from Arondacoit, was pronounced dead at the scene. The drivers of both vehicles were unharmed. Police have not released the name of that victim. No criminal charges have been filed. Three Rochester women recovering after a weekend stabbing outside the Main Street Armory in Rochester. Police responding to Strong Memorial Hospital Saturday where the victims were being treated. Officers say they were all in their 20s, leaving an event at the armory when they became involved in an altercation that ended with several stabbings. We're told their injuries are non-life-threatening. News 8 is putting you first once again, this time with a focus on smart shopping. The Geek Squad from Best Buy will be in our studio today, taking your calls about smart home products. So you know more about what you're buying this holiday season. That is smart shopping from 5 to 6.30 tonight on News 8. And time is ticking to get all that shopping done before Christmas. A lot of people looking at the forecast, Josh. Yeah, let's be smart about uh, getting ready for today's weather. We are going to see the breeze picking up just a little bit, and that means... We are going to find some lake flakes flying, especially later this morning and into the afternoon. Right now, just uh, kind of breezy, a mostly cloudy Monday morning. Temperature-wise, uh, we should hold steady, I think, for the day today, largely into the 30s much of the time. And then uh, later tonight, dropping uh, below freezing. At that point, we'll see some streamers of lake snow. And we could get in on a coating to an inch of fresh fluff by Tuesday morning. So uh, there's some standard winter fare here. In Everybody New York. hoping that we will have a little bit of snow for Christmas, too. Fingers crossed. All right. Well, stay tuned. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update.